Good morning and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna share with you three easy and delicious raw vegan breakfast ideas. So the first one, we getting started right away. That is not my recipe, it is by Hi Raw Nick on TikTok, but I seen it and I was like, ooh, I gotta try that. And I was a little skeptical, but it's been one of my favorite breakfast smoothies that I have at least three or four times a week. So first off, you need some frozen strawberries and I'll put all the ingredients of what I'm using in the description below. So we're gonna take a bowl full of strawberries, frozen strawberries, and then you're gonna take six to eight dates, depending on how sweet you want your smoothie. I have eight in there. And make sure that they are pitted. And then you want some water. I have about a little under 32 ounces. You could also do coconut water that would make it sweeter. But right now I just have on hand water. So we're gonna use this and this is distilled water. We're gonna pour about, uh, what would you say? Three fourths in? So let's just leave a little bit in the jar just in case. We don't want it too runny. And what I'm using is a Vitamix. Um, what model is this? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what model this is, but I'll link it in my description box. And we're gonna start it off slow since we got a lot of that frozen fruit in here and then pulse it a little bit. Oh, first you gotta turn it off. And then I like to move it to smoothie and let it do its thing. Okay, let's see what we got here. I don't think it needs any more water. Oh no, it doesn't. It is perfect. Ooh, look at that. This is really good for your digestion. First thing in the morning. Perfect, so good. Who would have thought date, strawberries, and some water would make a delicious recipe? But it does. Next up is another smoothie, but this one is more dense. So the one that we just made is, you know, more for like digestion and energy. But if you need something, as they say, to stick to the bones and make you feel more fulfilled, it's gonna be the smoothie that you want. So what I like to do is get two bananas that are starting to brown, starting to get that speckly brown color. And we're gonna peel those. Add those to our blender. Then I have more berries, but this time this is a cherry berry blend. Um, I'm gonna say this is about two cups, but then again, I'm gonna put all the measurements in the description box. But this has strawberries, cherries, dark cherries, and blueberries. I think that's all. Did I say blueberries? Yeah, I did, okay. So we're gonna add those in. And a little bit over a cup of almond milk, organic. And next, I have some baby spinach. Do you ever buy like the tubs or the bags of spinach and by the end of the week it's already wilted and slimy? So I found a new hack. Well, it's not really a new hack, but it's a new hack for me. I've been freezing my bags of spinach. This one hasn't been frozen, but I've been freezing them. And so it's been lasting me forever and my spinach is no longer going bad. So yeah, I just grab a handful out of the freezer. I have a bag in here that has just a little bit left. Let me show you. Yeah, it's just got like a corner. I might as well put this in the smoothie too. But it's almost like little spinach chips and I've been adding them to my smoothie and I am no longer wasting money on spinach, okay? So, add that in. Mm 
So I try to do about a cup put just a little bit more in. And I like to build my smoothies to at least get 32 to 64 ounces. Cause with eating raw vegan, you know you have to consume more. Oh, I'm missing one thing. And then I like to add protein powder. So this is for all um, the girls and gals that want to start adding protein to their raw vegan. I'm just using um, a simple plant-based I'm just using a simple plant-based protein and it has four, five ingredients, pea protein, cane sugar, coconut cream, and natural flavor. But I'll be side-eyeing that natural flavor because why do you need to put that in there? And what is natural flavor? Like, take it out, we don't need it. It's a bunch of bull. So I'm gonna do one scoop. And this is by the brand Vega. And we are going to blend that up. Making sure I didn't forget anything. No, I did. All right, let's give it a go. So we already have it on smoothie. This one I just straight go in and blend it. This is gonna keep you full until lunchtime. I love to have this when I'm tired of smoothies. And this is chia seed pudding. Now, if you've never had chia seed pudding, it kind of puts you in the mind of a tapioca pudding, except for the little balls are a little bit smaller. So what you're gonna need, or what I like to use for this recipe is some non-dairy milk. I have a half cup. Um, chia seeds, of course, and then um, some type of sweetener. You could use honey. I have agave, or you could use date syrup, um, monk fruit, sugar, coconut sugar. You know, the options are endless. And then you want some kind of jar that you can put in the fridge that has a lid because chia seeds need about an hour to two hours to expand. Um, so they come like this, like a seed, and then when they have liquid touch them, then they activate into like this jelly, um, this gelatin ball. And so this is really good for your digestive system as well. So what we're gonna do is take two tablespoons of chia seeds, put them in our little dish, And then take your half cup of non-dairy milk. I'm using almond milk. And then about a tablespoon of your sweetener. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And you can also add vanilla extract in here or any kind of flavorings that you want, but I'm just gonna keep it simple so you can see how to make the base. And then once you try it, you can, you know, add or do your own creations. Then I like to take a whisk or a fork just to distribute the, just to, you know, mix up the milk into the chia seeds so the milk is all distributed in between the chia seeds. I guess that's what I would say. Because if you don't stir this, then they will clump up together and some of them won't form that uh, jelly ball. And I know you see the fruit right there. We're gonna do something with that here in a minute. So you would put this in your fridge. I like to do mine overnight. So I'll do it the night before I plan on eating it. But as long as you keep it in the fridge for at least an hour. So let me get my top. Place that on there, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge. It's ready when it starts to look like this. See how it has like this pudding, but like tapioca pudding look? Now it's ready. So now let me show you how I like to make my chia pudding and then add toppings. Oh my gosh, so good. So, take me some fresh fruit, or you could do frozen. 
and just add these as toppings. Got some blueberries in here, the grapes. Got some strawberries. I need to destem these. Huh, that's interesting. I've never seen a strawberry. You know the little seeds on the strawberry? Like, it's like they're blooming into little leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Gotta give you the YouTuber hand. I've never seen that before. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna be eating it. That looks pretty. Then I'm gonna take some walnuts, put that on top. A little bit of shredded coconut. Oh yeah. And then drizzle that thing with just a little bit more agave or you could do honey or date syrup. And I am telling you, this is gonna be the best breakfast you ever had. That. Get into that. Okay, now that we got that mixed up all good, then you just want to put you some in a bowl. And this is really good after a couple of hours of being refrigerated because you know that citrus juice just marinates into the sweeter fruit, the berries. Mmm, oh my gosh, that's good right now. Mmm, so good. Let me calm down. I'm gonna put some in my bowl. Babe, try this grape. Mm. Now me, I like to be extra, so I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of flaxseed on this thing. And then I'm going to dollop some coconut cream on top. Oh my gosh, I'm about to tear this thing up. Look at that. Look at that right there. Fresh, refreshing, healthy, good for the digestive system. Like you can't beat this right here. You have got to try this one out and let me know what you think. Listen, I had that little bowl of fruit and I had to come back for the big bowl because this is just too dang good. Like, it's something about that orange juice and that lemon juice with that, with that zest of the lemon and the lime. And then just a little bit of sweetness of the agave. So good. Anyways, that wraps us up for, what are we talking about mouthful? Hold on. So that's gonna wrap this up for four easy raw vegan breakfast ideas. Thank you so much for watching.